Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to shut down and restart your computer or remote computer from the command line. Now obviously you're quite familiar with start, shut down, or start power depending on your operating system. And you have a few choices here. With the command prompt or PowerShell, we're actually going to get in there we'll have tons of commands. All you need to know is the command shutdown. So either press the Windows key plus X and open PowerShell as admin or you can do the Windows key plus S for search, type in CMD, allowing you to run as admin. I always run as admin by default, it's just good practice. And I'm gonna use PowerShell, so press your Windows key plus X. And we'll just show you a couple basic things here to get you started if you haven't done it before. So as mentioned, the word you need to know is shut down, one word. Once you press enter, because there are no commands or arguments, that's how everything works. You have to tell it what to do after shutdown. That's just the basic command. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and press enter. And that's the same as doing forward slash, that's a command, question mark. But without anything following the word shutdown, it's the exact same thing. So go ahead and press enter, you'll see. There you go. So here is a list of commands or arguments. So you can see log off, shut down, certain parameters, if automatic restart sign on is enabled, full shutdown and restart, re a remote system, all sorts of stuff. So we'll give you a one shot at it here so you can see how it looks if you want to play along at home. So this is pretty safe to do, but I'm going to give you a little warning. We need to know about the abort command. That is forward slash A. So in other words, we can start a shutdown or a restart and we can actually abort it. So this will give you a chance to play with it if you've never done it before. So let's go ahead and bring up your PowerShell or command prompt and you can type in whatever you want really that we've just discussed. We can shut down or we can restart. So it doesn't matter. So for the sake of argument, we will do shut down and do forward slash R, that's a restart. Now before you press that again, you'll have one minute to abort <laughs> to actually close the window and then use the abort command. Ready? Go ahead and press enter. There it is. So we've got a, less than a minute, so we don't want to screw around too long here. Hit close. So now we can get out of this if we change our mind. We will do shutdown forward slash A for abort. Press enter and a window will pop up and let you know that that was canceled. So there you go. It's not too tough. We mentioned just type in shutdown and you'll see your commands or if you're on the page here's a list that you can look at that might be a little easier to read sometimes in the command prompt and that's pretty bright you should be okay with that so you can just take a look and see how you can hibernate and all the different options you can use here so just a neat way I'm sure you can understand now that you've seen the commands that obviously you can just start shut down but do so so much more so there you go just a fun little thing to play with you never know when it might come in handy as always bottom right corner Major Geeks logo. Click it. You can subscribe. We appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching. As always, see ya.